Dark field live blood analysis is a popular phrase in some circles when they engage clients in looking at their blood under the microscope. Live cell qualitative auditing is probably more appropriate where we are concerned because there is so much more we can do with our scopes. We are looking here at different modes that we can engage with our biomedics configured Olympus system. This right here is dark field. You can see how with a simple adjustment on our built-in condenser that we can get a 3D perspective on our specimen somewhat similar to differential interference contrast. You might have noticed how easily we can flip from one mode of lighting to another mode of lighting. One thing about these systems is the smoothness of operation that you just don't find with so many other scopes, especially a lot of the Chinese imports which have flooded our market and are sold under a lot of different brand names. This right here is bright field mode. Typically that needs a little condenser iris adjustment to get some detail and depth of field in our specimen. I thought that having you look at the monitor and the scope like this and going through the modes would be the best way to demonstrate the tremendous versatility of this unit and the ease of use. One drawback, however, is you're watching a video of a video, so you're not quite seeing the nuance and image that you'd see if you were right in the room viewing it live directly. Right now I'm flipping from a 20x objective to a 40x objective, which will double the magnification. This right here is phase contrast. It's beautiful. There is no microscope out there that delivers a better phase contrast image than this. One thing that you might also notice as I move the specimen around is the image is hardly blurring as it moves. Our camera is doing 60 frames per second with a very fast exposure shutter. There are a lot of microscopes being sold for this business that have a USB style camera that plugs into a computer and then an adapter might be used to go to an HDTV. Tried a lot of those cameras and they just didn't look so good. There's just so there's no comparison to what you're looking at here. On our older microscopes that were discontinued at the end of 2017, we used prosumer camcorders on those. But on these new microscopes, we had to shoot for an increased individual pixel size with a high dark signal sensitivity. That was needed to get the level of dark field that I wanted. It took a lot of months of bringing in many different cameras and testing them all. I've been doing this since 1995, and well, I'm a bit particular where quality is concerned. Right now we're in phase contrast and I'm putting the mouse pointer to the center of the screen to point to a little bugger. And uh, we're going to zoom in on that. There's the zoom. All digital. Looks like a little microbial form, like a bacteria. An EV, extracellular vesicle. Now this zoom image is all done digitally. We're only using a 40x objective and it's all non-oil. That little bugger is well under a micron in size diameter. Red blood cells you see are 7.5 to 8 microns in diameter, so probably that's 500-700 nanometers. You're going to get a good idea here in a second. There it is. It was in the process of flipping and I froze the frame. From here you could actually measure this if you wanted to. The camera has internal software so you could put up grid lines and measurement lines, presetting those with a calibration slide. The system also comes with computer software, which is driven by the camera, so you could get a little more fancy if you wanted to go in that direction. Again, I have to stress, we are looking at this with only a 40x non-oil objective. If needed, you could move to a 100x oil objective and more than double the magnification over what we see here, along with increased resolution, if it were needed. I'm going to take the video off of freeze frame now. And here we see a white blood cell coming up from the bottom. The world of the small inside of us is a fascinating place. When you get one of these systems, you'll be well set to take people on a fantastic voyage into their blood, and at the same time, you'll be giving them an education on health like they've never had before.